let us build an AI agent that takes up the profile URL, scrapes entire information, analyzes it, and compares it with your own LinkedIn profile to come up with seven different unique and targeted approaches of how to message them. Do you also use LinkedIn for prospecting? LinkedIn is a gold mine for networking, but most people are doing it all wrong. They send generic and forgettable messages that gets ignored or deleted. Why? Because your prospects are receiving dozens of such DMs every day. I get it, it's hard to find the people, go through their profile in detail and come out with the idea of how to approach them. Let's say that you are very good at it. It takes you 5 minutes per profile. Even with a 50% suitability rate, you end up with only 6 DMs an hour. Let me help you reduce it to 30 seconds per profile. That is 10x productivity if you put 15 minutes in watching this video once. Not only that, if you click the first link in the description below, you will get the exact blueprint that you can import with all the prompts that I am using. So watch till the end so you know what to do with it. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Mohit Mandal, a developer turned educator and AI consultant. Let us build an AI agent that takes up the profile URL, scrapes entire information, analyzes it, and compares it with your own LinkedIn profile to come up with seven different unique and targeted approaches of how to message them. According to the best selling author, Robert Gialdini's principle of persuasion, the key to selling anything is connection. And the fastest way to make that connection is through finding a common ground or giving a genuine compliment that they care about. That's what I'll be training this agent to do. Let's get in. This is the wonderful automation I'm talking about. We are going to build this on N8N, which is a very popular agent builder platform where you can customize your workflows. So let's go through each of the module, how it works. The main focus over here is to make you understand how this AI agent infrastructure work in the N8N so that you can build any kind of agent that you need. So in this example, we will be needing a trigger in terms of a chat window, but this trigger could be a webhook or through any other application. Let's say a telegram message or WhatsApp message or even voice calls. So in this example, we will be taking the trigger as a chat message. So it's just a chat window over here. And then the main crux of this automation is this AI agent. So AI agents are basically autonomous modules in any 10 which can use a large language model of your choice. Here I have added the OpenAI chat model, but it could be anything that you prefer. And then there is a memory which helps the agent have track of previous data to work upon. And then you can attach different tools to it. And the agent will automatically understand which tool to use, how to create the parameters to pass for using that tool and whatnot. So let me just go through this and let's build this from scratch. So when you are in the interface, you can just create an account at N8N and then you can come here at create workflow. You can select different kind of triggers. It could be a webhook, form summation. In this case, I'll be using this chat message. It's pretty easy and straightforward. Then we need to pair it up with AI agent. And then the agent type should be a tools agent. We want this agent to be able to access different tools. It could also be in conversational agent or SQL agent if you want to optimize your SQL queries. Let's add the large language model. So these are the different options you can choose from. For simplicity, I'll just go with OpenAI. And here you can create a new credential. So for this, go to platform.openai.com and create your API key. It's pretty straightforward. And then you just, you know, uh, paste the API key here to create your connection. Once it's done, you don't need to do it every time. Then you can choose any model from the drop down here. I'll be going with Poro Mini. Then we need to supply a memory. The easiest one is a window buffer memory. 
but depending upon your use case you can go with other options and then you can select how many prior messages you want it to remember so it's by default 5 and I think it's fine for now then what we need is we need to provide a tool which can help you scrape the LinkedIn profile of a person when you provide the LinkedIn URL so for this I'll be using Appify So Appify is basically a marketplace of a lot of different scraper tools from which I'll be using this LinkedIn profile scraper, no cookie, which costs around $3 per thousand profiles. And you will see that when you create the account, you get $5 credit. So yeah, you just provide the profile URL and run it. So this is how you do it manually. But when you want to integrate it, you just need to go here and create the API endpoint and because you need to run the actor synchronously and get the dataset items because uh, so you basically want to wait for it to complete the execution and give you back the results so that's why you will select this third one you will just copy these credentials it will automatically contain your token key so you don't have to integrate the API key separately just copy this URL come back here and then we add a HTTP request so it will be a post request. URL is the one that we copied now. Authentication, we don't require right now. We need to send the body and it will be a JSON structure. So if you want to understand what is the input for any particular scraper tool from Appify, just come to the input, JSON, and you just copy this. Put it here and then this is the LinkedIn URL that you need to change so what we need is we want to get the mapping so there are two ways you can put an input it could be a fixed or expression I want to go with the expression one and then over here I want to put the input parameter so let's keep it as it is for now let's just rename this to LinkedIn okay. scraper. So now that the technical infrastructure is ready, we need to focus on the business logic side of it. So yeah, the very first thing that I want to do is to get my complete profile summary to compare with the new prospect. So let's get to the agent and add a system prompt. So a system message is the instruction or basically conditioning your agent to do what it needs to do. So the very first thing I'll put is, yeah, I'll give you a LinkedIn URL. Your task is to scrape the LinkedIn profile using the tool. So you specify that you need to use the tool and give the complete report on who are they, what they studied and all of that. So now I need to test it once. I'll go to chat, put this. And remember, it will not work right now because when we get to this LinkedIn profile scraper step, the URL is not passed. Cool. So let's open this. And now we have something in the mapping that is the chat input. So that's what we need to put here. I'll just take this and put it here. So this is basically a notation to instruct that you need to use the variable instead of, you know, plain text and that's why we need to put it in the expression section not in the fixed one so now it should be good to go let's yeah put it again and yeah run it so why do we need this because we will use this for the final system prompt for our ai agent where we will be instructing it to compare the prospect's profile like you know first use the tool to scrape the profile and then compare the information with the information that you have about me which is a part of the system prompt and then give me the possible suggestions on how to start the conversation and how should be the approach you can also add another layer to qualify and assess if this is the right prospect or not it saves you a lot of time so this is the result it has come up with 
so I will be using this let's change the system prompt here to this let me show you what it is this is like my first information what we have just scraped and then I am asking it to yeah this is my LinkedIn profile analysis scrape the LinkedIn profile using the URL of my prospect that I'll be providing and generate an analysis for them and provide me with seven different approaches I can you know, make to start the conversation with them and yeah these are some more rules so I'll put the so these all will be the part of the template that you can download in the description below so I'll keep the prompt you can you, you should actually definitely optimize the prompt based on what is the approach that you want to follow and how you need the conversation starters but this is like the basic one that I have right now and it also ends with a few examples to give more clarity so now let's save it and get another LinkedIn URL to try for a prospect and by the way this is my LinkedIn if you want to follow me I post AI insights on a daily basis so let's take up a profile maybe just take the first one from the suggestions uh, yeah take the URL get back to our agent put it here and that's it so as you can see it just used the tool and now I guess it is summarizing and coming up with the approaches here so we can get better view <coughs> so here it has summarized their profile and these are the different ways I can start I see you specialize in leveraging AI for B2B sales okay there's a complement part there's an anchor part and that's basically coming out of the instructions that I have given it you can obviously optimize the system prompt and give it instructions in the way you want to really approach the prospects and yeah it will do the heavy lifting for you not only scraping going through all the data analyzing with your own profile and finally coming up with the approaches that you believe are the way to go i hope it was easy to follow along and you can get the free template using the first link in the description below try it copy paste it and start getting replies from day one if you found this video helpful Hit like and subscribe for more AI automation and AI agent tutorials like this. You can also follow me on my LinkedIn where I post AI insights on a daily basis. Thanks for watching and see you soon.